Hey everybody, my name is Cynthia, this is Tiny Tech Talks, and today I want to show you some fun CSS effects that can spice up your design a little bit. So the first thing I want to show you is how to change the selection color of your website. Next up, I have a bit of a more special link where we have this nice smooth transition between colors and we also have a nice uh, line underneath any links on a website and then next up is this animating line that comes in that is a gradient underneath our links so let's go ahead and jump over to oxygen i've opened up oxygen and i already inserted two sections the first one has just a normal text element inside of it and then the other section has a text element with some links inside of it and a button now even though most of these things can be done within the oxygen editor i am actually gonna use a style sheet for this and the main reason is also because I just prefer to have these type of things in one place so they are easy accessible and I can easily change things around because I do feel that sometimes I have to click around way too much to get to certain properties within the editor. So I'm gonna go to um, style sheets and I already created a new style sheet called CSS effects and just so it is easier for myself I also added some color variables however for any of my production sites I actually use a really cool tool called automatic CSS which is a framework if you want to know more about it I'll have a link in the description um, but it is super handy but just for the purpose of this video I have some um, color variables set up right here so let's start with the first thing which is um, changing the selection color of our website now if I head over to uh, Mozilla as you can see, you know, there is a pseudo element called selection that has a few properties that you can use on it. So this is what we will use. And this is actually super easy. So I'm just going to use that pseudo element selection. And in this case, I want to change my background color. And let's set it to my... Um, I'm actually going to go with my secondary color. So let's set that up. And as you can see right now, even in the editor, if I go in there and I select, the color is now different. Um, so before it was this light blue, I can change it to whatever I want. So let's use the accent color so it's a bit more clear um, that it actually changed. So there we go. Now we have this nice yellow selection color. So you can go ahead and use any of these properties to style up the way your text looks when it is selected. However, keep in mind that usability is always the more um, most important thing or it should be the most important thing to keep in mind. So um, make sure you are compliant to all accessibility laws and don't go too crazy with these types of things. So it's just a fun little effect where you can like add some little branding, but don't go too crazy with this. Next, I want to show you how we can like kind of customize these types of links. So again, let's go into our style sheet and let's start styling this uh, link a little bit. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to use my link attribute and let's set the font weight to be a bit more bold so it is uh, a bit more clear that this is a link. Now watch as I did this, since I put it on any link um, element on my website, it also changed up my button and my um, menu up there. So if I change this back to like 400, as you can see, I'm actually targeting too many things. So let's actually go into um, the front end for a second, because what I actually want to do is I only want to target links that are in a text element. So let's go inspect. And as you can see, what Oxygen does is a text block is basically a div with the class of CT text block. And then inside there is our um, text with our links. So I'm actually only want to target these link attributes within the class of CT text block. So let's go back to my style sheet. Let's set this back to 800 so we can see what is happening. Now, if I add 
um, the class of CT text block. I only target links within divs that have this class. So within text blocks in Oxygen. Um, so I'm gonna use this to target only my text links. And then what I wanna do as well is, so I made it bold. I actually wanna keep the color. So let's actually add in our, our line or our border button. So let's go border bottom and let's say I want this to be three pixels um, solid and this can actually be our primary color now. So that's looking pretty good. So the next thing I want to do now is whenever I hover it, I want to have this like change into a different color. So we need the hover state, so let's copy this over and put our hover state behind our link. So whenever I hover um, over a link, this is what should happen. So what should happen is I want my border bottom, actually my border bottom color to change from my primary color to let's test the secondary color and let's see secondary. And let's see what happens whenever I go over it. Now, as you can see, this changes already, which is good, but I also want to have my text change with it or my text color change with it. So let's also change our color um, whenever we hover over it to go to our secondary color. And there we go. Now, as you can see, it's already kind of working. So I have this color changing effect already, but I want it to be a bit more smooth. Um, so I want to like have it transition into the other color um, a bit slower. So I'm going to use the transition uh, property. And um, since we are going to target both the uh, color of our line or our bottom uh, or border on the bottom, and our color, I'm going to use all. And then um, let's put a 400 millisecond time on it. And let's use the ease in and out. So let's see what that did. There we go. Now, as you can see, now it like slowly changes from one color to the other one. So basically, this is all we need to make this more like of a fancy color changing link. Um, it's just a bit of CSS code, nothing too crazy, but it does give a little extra branding to your site. And then next up, I want to show you how to do the gradient um, hovering link. So let's actually delete most of these things. Um, so I'm going to delete this and I'm also going to delete this because we can't do that gradient thing um, or the transition on the border button. So what I want to do is I want to actually use a background image. So I'm going to use a background image and I'm going to set a linear gradient on there. And let's set, um, let's have it go from, let's have this one go from my primary, primary color to, let's try my second, that's all my accent color. Let's see how that looks. Okay, let's use these two colors. But I actually want this to go from um, being purple on this side and then yellow on this side. So let's add a 90 degree rotation to it. So this is already looking pretty good. But as you can see, it's covering my entire link. And I just want to have this little line underneath it. So let's go to background. Um, size and um, let's set it to 100 and then make it three pixels um, now as you can see it doesn't look like a lot has changed and that's because we need to go to background repeat and put it to no repeat and as you can see now I have this line but of course it is positioned um, on the top which is not what I want I actually want to have it um, on the bottom so again I'm gonna go background position and we're going to set this to bottom 
and I'm actually also going to center it so we can have it um, open up from the center. So this is looking pretty good. The only thing I want to do is since the line is like really close up to um, the link, I'm actually going to add a little bit of padding um, just so it looks a bit better. Um, all right. That looks pretty good. So now I want to actually animate this to come in from the bottom and the center and just open up to the sides and then go back inside. So actually I want to not have it be at 100% when we're not hovering it. And I want to actually make it go to 100% whenever I hover on it. So let's see what this does. As you can see now the line is just popping in. So again, we want to have a transition on it so uh, we can actually see what is happening because now it's just going way too fast. So let's go transition. We can just use background size this time. Um, so let's go position, background size, um, let's say 400 milliseconds. And again, let's use that ease in out. And let's see what that gives us. There we go. Now we have this nice um, link basically growing from like the center to the ends. And let's see if we play around with this and we go um, left on this side. As you can see, now it comes in from the left and then it grows right and then it goes out again. So basically you can play around with like the gradient, the size. Um, the position of it and it gives you quite a bit of options to have these like nice custom links inside of your oxygen website so i really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial thank you very much for watching and if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up or leave a comment and if you want to get notified whenever i put out a new video then don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in another video